hi guys welcome back to another video in today's video i'm just going to share with you a free profitable trading system that you can basically use on most time frames uh, especially if you are a scalper i think this is a good uh, strategy that you can use and you can use uh, this on a uh, trading view uh, the platform that many traders nowadays uh, love to use I don't know what my mouse is doing there but in any case so if you are new on this channel please consider subscribing that way you don't miss any of our future videos let's go into uh, the video so we can see here we have got uh, XAU USD, which is dollar versus the uh, sorry gold versus the US dollar, and you can basically test this system on any of your forex pairs and see if it can work as well. Now we are going to need basically two indicators, maybe three, in order to make this thing work. So how are we going to do this? So first of all, we are going to go to indicators. In indicators, we are going to search for trader XO. We're going to look for trader XO macro trend scanner uh, by BTC Charlie. So look for Trender XO um, Macro Trend Scanner by BTC Charlie. At the moment of uh, making this video, it has got 1.226 uh, downloads or installs. So uh, not many people know about uh, this. So I'll just uh, click that and we add it on to our chat. So basically, that's what it's going to add to your chat. Uh, this is one hour time frame if you actually go to the lower time frame you might actually see a whole lot more uh, signals let's just go to the 15 minute this is the 15 minute uh, time frame so you can you can basically see the idea behind this uh, scanner you can basically see the idea behind the scanner when things are blue like this and the lines are blue and we have a bull signal there it means it's time to buy and we close when we get a bearish uh, signal there and we sell and we buy again uh, that's basically the idea behind this um, uh, system uh, it's free it's a free indicator that you can actually use in your trading what I love to do with this as well you already know is I also enjoy using my Heiken Ashi candles Heiken Ashi candles if you add your Heiken Ashi candles this is how it's going to look like Heiken Ashi candles they help to judge reversals and momentum and I think it's a good uh, um, strategy to use when you're using this Trader EXO uh, scanner as well so you can see on top of the Heiken Ashi you actually have the scanner telling you it's time to buy hey buy this is only 15 minute time frame so you could have entered a buy there and just held on uh, and make some teaching and here a quick sell and then a buy so what you also want to do is first of all determine the trend on the higher time frames uh, like i always uh, tell you uh, try to understand the higher time frame movement when you are trading the five minute 15 minute or one minute or 30 minute uh, time frames understand the higher time frames uh, the hourly it can be the four hourly it can be the daily it can be the four hourly it can actually be the daily so you can see we are in uh, seeing bullish momentum on the four hourly as well uh, there was bearish momentum on the uh, four hourly there so when you go down to the lower time frames uh, in this instance uh, you would be looking for more sales and then if you actually go let's say let's just pick five minute let's just pick five minute so there will be instances like this instances like this because uh, th this is the always the danger of uh, trading with moving averages when the markets are ranging moving averages will always uh, throw you into 
confusion so f to deal with this we always find a, a indicator to what to filter out instances like this and i, ju I just have the indicator for you uh for that it's again a free indicator uh let's just go and search for macd who would have known the macd the traditional macd and just close uh, like that this is the traditional macd and we're just going to tweak it a bit everything that i'm giving you here feel free to tweak it feel free to tweak it so what we're going to do first is we're going to go to style <coughs> sorry about that so we're going to go to style and we're going to go uh, uh, MACD. We're just going to remove those uh, 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 lines. We're just going to remove those lines and a zero line. Maybe you you just want to make it more uh, visible. Uh, it depends with you. Then we're going to go to inputs. Here we are going to change this to 25 and this we are going to make it a hundred sorry a hundred and a thousand and we close so in the end uh, this is what we got this is uh, what we ended up with so we are basically going to go five minute or you can go to the one minute or you can go to the 30 minute one hour 15 minute uh, let's go to 15 minute as an example what we are going to use the macd for is to help us to filter out a bad uh, signal when the market is just ranging so here you can see we started to see uh, the macd histogram below the zero line which was a signal for us that we probably should be looking for sales then we waited patiently for our signal that it's time to sell then we sold and we got a good a profit uh, somewhere here a rule of thumb uh, usually for me is sorry I'm on the wrong thing what I want to go to is this place and a good rule of thumb is usually to try and what and get a one is to two one is to three uh, risk to reward ratio so in that uh, in scenario you would uh, set your stop around the recent highs something like that and we would move our target to somewhere uh, there this so there is basically our uh, one is to two one is to two that's what you usually want to do uh, this is lower time frames this is 15 minute time frames and there are going to be instances actually like this where you are probably going to want to hold that position for longer why did i give you one is to two in that scenario because when we checked the higher time frame because i know some of you guys want to trade both ways you cannot just res resist the temptation so we when we checked on our higher time frame we agreed that the momentum is up but for a person who wanted to just take advantage of these a uh, few retracement candles that's where you aimed for a one is to two but if you are moving with a higher time frame movement then feel free to hold that trade for longer but if you are also just scalping then you just want to aim for that one is to two or one is to three one is to four basically for example in this scenario let's say you if you are trading the one hour let's say you you bought there you then probably would have wanted to set your stop loss uh, somewhere there and where do we find our one is to two one is to two one is to two one is to two ways one is to two one is to two basically you could have easily made one is to three if we just make it one is to three is somewhere there somewhere there just barely one is to three then uh, 
you close your trade you basically close your trade and it depends out and you are happy but you can still again what go back to the uh, five minute and just try to find these uh, opportunities but like i said the five minute and the one minute then you now need to understand uh, that you are taking a whole lot of risk because there might be uh, many false signals which we have tried to filter out with the macd so my advice would be go to higher time frame look for trend on higher time frame just a trend with the trend on the higher time frame if the one hour or the four hourly or the daily is showing you buying momentum what you want to do to concentrate on even on the five minute uh, 40 uh, 15 minute one minute is to look for buys i, I do not go to the one minute uh, time frame this is what uh, the one minute time frame is looking like so you just want to be looking for only buys because higher time frame has been showing us that we are just going to be what looking for buys so here's the one minute people have to trade the one minute i don't but i prefer to trade the 15 minute time frame if i'm going to be using this uh, system i think it gives a uh, better uh, signals but uh, you do what you find is uh, good for yourself so i just thought let me share with you guys uh, this wonderful system uh, that i created on a trading view it's profitable if you understand the trend how you can uh, go about using the trend and basically we have three indicators the macd i can ash candles as well as trader x so a uh, trend scanner that's all that you need to make money with uh, this strategy go ahead and test it out uh, and uh, let me know if it's something that is actually profitable for you as well see the links in the description box subscribe like the video until until next time bye guys